Rough, rough videos. Hi, Ms. Kelly's ILS students. Welcome back, it's still Tuesday. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. So, we have made some Play-Doh, and I wanna make full use of that Play-Doh this week. So, I sent home in our week three packet, like we talked about, your name, highlighted. So, this is my name, K-I-M, and you each have your name. So what I want you to do with this, you have two options. Let me see if I can grab something, hold on one second. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, here we go, perfect. You have two options. You can use your Play-Doh or your dry erase. The beauty of this is because you have it in a sheet protector, you can do one one day, one the other day. It's just a matter of practicing using this. You can also do things where you're just tracing it with your finger. All these things, just get familiar with your name and how to write it. So we'll start out. Pointer finger, if you're right-handed, right hand. If you're left-handed, left hand. And you can do hand over hand, wherever you are, and you're gonna trace your name. Again, top to bottom, top to bottom. There you go. So we've traced our name. And then, Ms. Kelly's gonna use her Play-Doh. I wish it was my Play-Doh, but Milo's having fun with it, so that's what matters. I'm gonna squish it just like that. I think I might have too much, so I'm gonna take some away. Have a little less. I'm gonna get a little ball. I'm gonna put it down, use the tips of my fingers, my palm down, and roll. Here we go. Oh, I even used two hands there. Oh, there's one line. I'm gonna split this in half because I know these lines are shorter than that one. And roll. There's another line. There's that other half. And you can, uh, you can squeeze it with your hand, one hand. You can do it with both hands. Right now I'm just rolling with one hand because these lines are a little bit shorter. There's my K. I need to just do I and M. Squish, 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 squish. Put it down, roll. Oh, I'm gonna make it a longer one, so I might use both hands. And there's my eye. Okay, I have to do one more letter. But it's a long letter. It's a big one, huh? It's an M. Looks like an upside down U to you, probably looks like a W now. Squish, squish, roll. Use the other hand, roll. Okay, there's one line. There we go. Oh, I I'll just use both of that. Squish, squish. Yeah, I'm using, I'm getting exercise for both my hands. I'm rolling. Oh, just two more lines left. There we go. That's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna squish, squish, set it down. Fingertips, roll. Oh, you know what I could do? Maybe I could go and make it a much longer line and then break it in half. There it is. And I have that line and that line. So there's my name. And now it's a more tactile feeling if I trace it with my finger, it's more tactile. Another way to practice your name. Now, the last way I was telling you is with a marker. You can get a much thicker dry erase marker, which helps a lot of students who are having fine motor skills that they're working on. But if they're doing really well with grasping, using that pincher grasp, just like that pincher grasp, you're grabbing your marker. And again, starting at the top, going down. Top, down, down, top, down, top, down, top. Down, top down, top, down, top, down. 
and then you can erase it and work on it as many or as not if you want. I miss you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Rough, rough video.